Hey guys, how's it going? Kyle here, and today I just kind of wanted to do a final follow-up of uh, the GFO. As you can see, uh, everything is super clear, uh, nowhere near the amount of green gunk that I had before. Uh, and then also go through the different fish I've gotten. As you can see, we've got some new residents, so I uh, just kind of wanted to go through that. So the first of all, uh, we've got the the Fantastic Four. Uh, we have Ziggy Dooley, the two clownfish. Uh, we have Bandit, the the convict, and then our last remaining Chromie. Uh, we also have our Mexican Turbo Snail. Uh, his name is Yoshi, uh, and he's gotten huge. Uh, the picture just doesn't do the justice that it deserves. Uh, we also have our Urchin here. I believe he's a blue tuxedo sea urchin. Uh, with all of his hair, his wig that he carries around with him, his name is Kevin. Uh, and then also one of the first inhabitants would be Pierre here, uh, who's just a uh, cleaner shrimp. And he moves around the tank. He's hanging out back here. Sorry, the camera's shaky. Uh, I had to hold it very precariously, but uh, he's in the back hanging out. And then uh, some new additions. I have some red scarlet crabs. Uh, I bought five different red scarlet crabs that I have uh, put in, and they have helped with some of the algae control, which has been great. And just eating generally some of the stuff. Uh, I have some coral there, which you can kind of see. And then I also have an exquisite fire uh, fish, an exquisite fire fish, uh, which by the way, I got all of these, uh, all of these fish from liveaquaria.com um, and it, I, I will probably be using them again. I was really happy with the shipment. Everything was really simple. So, but this fire fish hangs out. Uh, his name is Otto. He hangs out in this, in this column of water for the most part all day. Uh, every once in a while he'll go hide, but for the most part he's out. So I'm really happy with him. He's one of my favorite fish to watch. Uh, so yeah, and then moving on from here, uh, then we also have a purple dotty back, and uh, we named her Flora. I assume it's a her, um, and she's pretty chill. Probably one of the most chill dotty backs I've ever seen, uh, which I love. I was afraid I was going to have an issue between her and the uh, exquisite uh, flame tail or whatever it is. Uh, then I have uh, a sailfin Blenny, who also uh, assisted with the takedown of the uh, of the algae. As you can see, his gut is full. Uh, and, then, and then the poor little snail there that just has hair still growing out of him. But uh, every once in a while, I've named I've named the sailfin Frank uh, because Frank the tank. Frank goes off and eats anything and everything all the time. Uh, we might even get to see him do that here. Yep, there he goes. Uh, so he just takes a little snack every once in a while. But you can see how fat that gut is. He's got he's got uh, he's been fed well. He's not going to be at a loss. Then we also have here uh, the. Uh, Hawkfish, and his name is uh, Gerald, off of Gerald and Finding Dory because of his eyes, uh, and he kind of looks like he has some eyebrows. Uh, Gerald is awesome. Gerald's also huge. He's one of the larger hawkfish I've ever seen, um, but he's he's fun to watch. He loves to perch and hang out. So uh, that's really all the residents we've got. Um, you know everything looks clean and happy. I'm thrilled with it. Uh, oh, I also got a Halloween uh, or Halloween. Hermit crab, Halloween hermit crab, and he is pretty awesome as well. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to check in and show you what all we got. And so, thanks for uh, coming along and uh, checking in. And I'll be doing some more videos here pretty quick. Thanks, guys.